Peter Butterfly with some stars here, including Canadian Maggie McNeil, who will be in the middle of the pool. Lane and we begin with lane eight, Canada. Canadian Katrin Savard, the 29-year-old who was third in the 200 butterfly last night and raced earlier tonight as well. Lane one, representing the United States of America, Ladea Mack. And this is another one of our Americans pro swimmers here in Toronto. She was eighth in the 50 back last night from San Jose, California. From Poland, Katarzyna Vasik, the 30-year-old, won the 50 free last night. She was second in her heat earlier today against uh, Beryl Castadello. Lane two, representing Australia, Holly Barrett. And we just mentioned how age is nothing but a number, but she's the oldest in this field, 34 years of age from Australia. She was second place last Lane week six, at the Berlin stop in the 50 America. fly. 24-year-old Erica Brown, bronze in the 50 uh, free at the World Championships in Budapest Lane earlier this year. Japan, Aisoma. Aisoma, 24-year-old Japanese national teamer. She competed in this event at the 2018 World Championships in Hangzhou, China. Lane five, representing France. From France, Beryl Gastadello won this event in Berlin last week. She won her heat earlier today in 25-61. We'll lane keep an eye four, on lane five. Representing Canada, Maggie McNeil. And there goes the crowd, Olympic and world champion in the 100 fly. She's recently moved this training locations. Now living in fly. Baton Rouge, Louisiana at L LSU University, training under her coach, Rick Bishop, moved over from, that was her coach when she was at the University of Michigan. She, she came over with him. So now she's kind of finishing that NCAA career and making the most of what she has in store there in Baton Rouge where it's just as hot and humid outside of the pool as it is inside the pool. Absolutely. There is Maggie McNeil, won the 50 back, and was second in the 50 free last night. She was quarter second faster than anyone else in the heats earlier today. It's Beryl Gastadello. She will try to challenge out of lane five. Let's keep our eye on the ageless one, Holly Barrett, in lane two. And they are off two lengths of the pool. This 50 meter butterfly who comes out first. Maggie McNeil's in good shape in lane four. Very strong start for Holly Barrett as well out of lane two. And less than a length to go now. And they come up out of the water. Maggie McNeil's got a lead. Looking for another win here in Toronto. It's going to be McNeil first. And second is Castanello. And third is Japan's Isoma. That race was all Maggie McNeil. She had to have felt pretty good about that. Her butterfly looks very smooth and strong, which is great. She didn't get to swim fly yesterday. Although got the racing under her belt, it's nice to see her get to do her premier stroke. But a huge one for the crowd to get to cheer on. About a half a second lead there for the Canadian in the middle of the pool. Gastello, as you mentioned, coming in second. She was the Berlin champion just a week ago, but she didn't have to race Maggie last week. So great to see there. A great time also for Maggie. It's kind of close. Getting into the range of where the world record sits. So we'll have to keep an eye out for the events like the short course worlds coming up in just a few months to see if she gets closer to that world record mark. So Maggie McNeil was in great shape in the first 25, then had a great turn, and then a dynamite second half. She wins it in 24.75 seconds. Castadello second, and Soma from...